Hey, hey, you too, Rich McCall. Rich McCall Serpents. I got some eggs to pull. It <laughs> made me jump. At the best of times, this uh, leopard pied is very snappy, very bitey, pretty aggressive. And a lot of our babies have been too. I think the positive part of that makes them good eaters. So what I'm going to do is put a uh, cloth over her head and that should give me, keep me from getting bit. So anytime you get a bitey snake like this one, just all you gotta do is this. It's pretty easy actually. Just get her head covered and uh, find her tail. You just don't want her to thrash too much and mess with the eggs. Come on, move back, buddy. Um, there we go. That's it, really and truly. She probably isn't. She's really trying to fight me. Um, go ahead and drop that. Look at her belly. Nice and concave the way you want it. Uh, pretty girl, huh? It's like a deflated balloon at the moment, but she'll get back on food. And we'll take care of that. Let me go put her... I have a prepared uh, whole other bin for her to go into. And she'll go right back into her slot in a clean bin with clean water and clean bedding. Alright, I'm going to count all these guys. This one has veins. Here we go, veins, got veins, got veins, veins, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good, ooh, I can't tell on this one, I have to pull this one out, make sure it doesn't, these of course, a couple of slugs, nothing going to go on there, so those will go right in the garbage, alright, so we got Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Find the slugs. Eleven attempts at eggs. I think she was gave me eight eggs last time, so that's a definite improvement. I would have liked those slugs to have something, and I can't quite tell about that one yet. So, and the father of this, of course, is Orange Dream Pastel Yellow Belly Fire Het Pied. So uh, we potentially could get Leopard Pastel Yellow Belly Fire Orange Dream Pieds, which we just awesome and of course any kind of mixes in there of the whole thing very very cool a right. couple of slugs right there slugs of course are eggs that did not develop fully for whatever reason they're never viable just toss those right in the garbage um, they're very very obviously different than uh, the regular eggs Sometimes they'll have like a golden, like ivory hue to them too. These are kind of darker, but uh, the size and shape pretty much gives them away. So just toss those in the garbage. There's no point in those going into an incubator. Nothing will happen with them. And the difference, of course, between this and an infertile egg, an infertile would look just like one of these. It just wouldn't have any veins. And uh, I just candled these and they're all good. This one I can't tell on yet. Um, the light's too strong in here for you guys probably to see this in the camera, but there's a green glow going on there. So I'm going to have to pull that one out. Because if that is infertile, you absolutely don't want to put it into an incubator in the middle like that. Because it will rot, and when it rots, it will heat up. Which means it would heat up all the eggs around it as well, and that's just going to cause you problems. So, uh, I'll be pulling that one off. That's pretty easy to do. Um... I'll show you a video of the father in a moment. The father's pretty cool. What we got right here in front of us are leopard pied mom, and the father was fire, pastel, yellow belly, orange dream, head pied. So we have shots at uh, the five gene pied in this, which would be just incredibly awesome. It will all be 100% head pied because mom was a pied. So I'm cool with any mixes of all of that. Pretty awesome, huh? All right. Mm, that's kind of a tight angle, but at least like, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. What I got is uh, my bin. My information at the top, as always, Leo Pie by OD Fire Pasta Yellow Belly Head Pie. 60 days is 10, 29, 20, because I get 60 day uh, uh, pips myself normally, 55. I keep track of that, so I just have the snake 
eggs in my brain before they start to pip. And day 40 is when I pull the uh, plastic wrap that I use off these guys. I end up using the, uh, there'll be water in here. I use the substrateless water method. Uh, I have a bunch of other videos where I talk about that. So I'm not going to go into that today in this video. This egg is already loose, so we'll put it in the corner so it doesn't roll on us. And since I already got to break some eggs up, we'll pop that one. This is the one in question here that may or may not be fertile. So we'll, here's what we'll do. We'll pull. And you know what? If you guys have never separated eggs yet, I see lots of videos online. People use um, dental floss or string or whatnot. All you really got to do is just put a firm pressure and just push. Just real firm and real slow. Take your time and it'll pop off just like that. You can see uh, right there a little bit of fuzz where it was stuck together. And I'll do it up close here with this one, okay? And if you see, I'm not sure how well it's going to pull up on the camera, but you can see it's just barely stuck together there and so just firm pressure you don't want to tear it you don't want to pull it just firm pressure kind of squish it down and uh, it should come right off and there you go see there's a little that's where we're stuck that's all it was so we'll put that one in put it right there because i got balanced at the moment on the water thing and then while i still have the right orientation on this egg in my hand Let's look. I know it's still too bright in here, so I'm going to go look in the dark corner of the recesses of my snake room here. So what I got is the faintest little itty-bitty vein. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in that corner. I know that's the right one. If I had a pen on me, I could mark that or whatnot, but I don't have a pen on me. Um, and the whole point is sometimes with just like one vein, they will go. Often they won't, though. And so it will just die and rot, and you'll know that. Um, and at that point... Um, because I have it separated, then I just pull it out. Okay, if it was touching the rest of the eggs, it would heat up. So I know to keep my eye on that egg. Um, and slide those in there, all stuck together. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this one off too. Because it, it was already off this one. So I don't want it just to fall off at some point. So again, all you do, sort of roll your finger under. Just like that, it comes right off. Um, and then you're gonna want to, you know, like no eggs touching the sides. This is up a little bit, so I'm gonna put it up a little bit. I think we'll go over here and do it. Um, that's touching on the side there, and uh, I'll mess with that in a second. This one's also up a little bit, so I'm gonna flip it around, and I guess we're gonna slide this way here, get them in there. Just like that. And uh, right now they're a little rolly, but typically after a, you know, a week or so, they'll have squished down a little bit into, the, into that uh, fluorescent light grid and uh, they won't be able to roll at all. But I don't move my eggs. Once they go in the incubator, it's not gonna move whatsoever. So I'm not real worried about that. So that's why I do it. I'll put some water in there. I'll put some saran on up. I'll get it into the incubator. Good to go. All right, YouTube. I'll give you a shot of the, of the papa in a minute and then we'll call this video good all right there's father fire pastel yellow belly orange dream het pied some of you guys may have seen this particular snake uh, at my booth at uh, pomona or the sack show or san jose uh, i toured him around for a little while um, one of my favorite snakes i had him with four females this year i think they're all going to go i've got eggs hatching in about three weeks from the first one, which was a regular pied. Obviously this was a leopard pied you just saw the eggs come off of. Um, and then I have another regular pied, who is a sister to the first regular pied. And then I have a completely unrelated leopard pied, who I think is gonna go, she's looking pretty good. It'll be her first clutch ever, that one particular one. She's a little on the young side too, but he's running away, but that's okay. You get to see how he, he looks as he moves. Pretty sweet stuff, huh? So. Yeah, buddy. Now he's all like, why do you have me out of my kennel? I liked my cage. I almost called it a kennel. What can I say? I have dogs. Yeah, look at that. Just gorgeous. All right, guys. He's running away. He's not going to let me film it much more. So <laughs> before, before this gets ridiculous, I'll put him away.